The bar graph given below shows us some data about the operations conducted by six companies numbered 1 to 6. Each bar corresponds to one of the six companies. Take for example company 6. This is a stacked bar graph. It means that a bar is subdivided into smaller parts. So if you look at the data for company 6, there are 6 parts of the bar. And these 6 parts add up to 100. It means that the numbers written against each of these operations add up to 100. So they are the percentage efforts. For example, if you look at operation F, the number is 17.6. It means that of the total effort put in by company 6, 17.6% goes into conducting operation F. Or in other words, if company 6 puts 100 units of effort in all, 17.6 units of that effort goes into doing operation F. Having understood the data, let's go to the questions now. There's a condition given here. The effort allocation is to be interchanged between B and C, then C and D, and then finally D and E. After doing this exercise, we have to arrange the various companies in the ascending order of effort in E, and then find the rank of company 3. Let's first do the arrangement part. Look at this graphic here. Let's denote the operations by the capital letters and the effort involved in them in the small letters. For example, to start with, the effort required for conducting operation B is represented as small b and for C as small c etc. Now when the effort is interchanged, the effort for B becomes small c and for C becomes small b. Now we interchange between C and D. So for C it becomes small d and for D it becomes small b. Now between D and E. So it becomes small e for D and small b for E. This is it. This is what we finally get. To conduct operation E, the effort required is small b. What it means is that the number written in the bar graph against the b column is now actually the number that's used in operation E. Now we need to rank the companies according to this number. Look at all the numbers written against b in the bar graph. The smallest is for company 4, 10.3. So that becomes rank 1. The next is for company 5, 16.1. So that becomes rank 2. The third is for company 3, 16.4. That's it, we were looking for company 3 only. So we can see from this graph that company 3 has got the third rank. And so our answer would be option B. Let's go to question number 2 now. It says that because of a technological change, the total effort required for operations B, C, D, E, F are evenly distributed among these five operations. Operation A is not affected. We need to find the change in percentage effort for operation E. This is the bar for company 4. The total effort for all the operations from B to F would be 100 minus the effort for A. A as can be seen from the graph is 18.5. So the sum of these five would be 100 minus A which is 81.5%. Now since the effort is equally distributed, the new effort for operation E would be 81.5 divided by 5, which is 16.3%. And the original percentage effort required for E was 28.6%, as can be seen from the graph. So the change in percentage effort for operation E is 28.6 minus 16.3, which gives us 12.3%. So the answer has to be option A. Reduction of 12.3. Now let's go to the last question of this set, question number 3. This question again is about redistribution of effort between different operations. The companies have decided to remove operations B, C and D and redistribute the effort released equally among the remaining operations. We need to find out the operation which consumes the maximum effort across all companies and all operations. Now for a question like this, we'll go with the options only. It's simple, we will check only for those values that are given in the options. So we just need to look at companies 1, 4 and 5. Let's check option A first, operation E in company 1. First let's calculate the total effort in BCD for company 1. It's the sum of 17.6, 9.8 and 15.7 which gives us 43.1. To find the allocation to company E out of this, we divide this number by 3 and we get 14.4. It means that 14.4 would be added to the original value of E, which can be seen in the graph as 23.5. So the final value would be the sum of these two numbers and it becomes 
Let's do likewise for operation E in company 4. The effort for B, C and D is the sum of 10.3, 8.2 and 11.2 which is 29.7%. Now to calculate the allocation for operation E, we divide this number by 3. We get 9.9. .9. The original value for E is given as 28.6. We add 9.9 .9 to it and get the final value of E as 38.5%. Let's move to option C. The original effort for operation F in company 5 is given as 19.7%. Before doing the calculation, I can't help noticing that option D talks about operation E in the same company. And that number is higher, much higher. It's 28.6. So if one among C or D has to be the answer, it has to be option D only. So we don't need to calculate for option C. I hope that's clear. Let's move to option D. The total effort for B, C and D in company 5 is the sum of 16.1, 13 and 7.7 .7, which gives us 36.8 and the allocation to each of the rest of the companies would be 36.8 divided by 3 which gives us 12.3%. Now the original value of E is 28.6. We add another 12.3 to it and end up with 40.9%. So there they are, the three values in front of us. The highest among them is 40.9 and so the answer has to be option D. Operation E in company 5.